from Laser World of Photonics Munich. This is Light Matters for July 1st, 2015. Hi, I'm Rob Pedrotti and we're on the showroom floor and again this convention has brought together the world's biggest players in the areas of laser technologies. From everything from laser lighting to laser welding to even lasers used for medical applications such as eye surgery, this show has everything. The convention, which was held in Munich, has been taking place every two years since 1973 and is organized by Messe München International. A four-day event that ran from June 22nd through the 25th, Laser World of Photonics is the world's leading assemblage of the laser photonics industry. The statistics continue to back this up, too. This year, the exhibition hosted more than 30,000 visitors, its greatest number to date, representing a 10% increase, combined with a 9% increase in exhibitors, totaling 1,227 companies, a new hall was opened to accommodate the escalated attendance, bringing the total hall count up to five hangar-sized showrooms. There was no shortage of plenary and keynote talks either. On June 24th, I made sure to attend a bioimaging presentation helmed by Dr. Wolfgang Drexler of the Medical University of Vienna. It focused on increasing significance of optical coherence tomography, or OCT, within biomedical research. From time domain OCT to Fourier spectral domain OCT to the latest iteration, swept source OCT, Drexler discussed the method's history as well as its future. He stated that swept source OCT is the future as well. Particularly interesting was the speed at which OCT technology is advancing, with speeds doubling every 1.6 years. And as Drexler indicates with this graphic, the Asia-Pacific region now represents the most attractive market for OCT technologies. Continuing along the biomedical spectrum, laser technologies for ophthalmology uses were in no short supply. In fact, many of the exhibitors with whom I spoke were showcasing laser technologies for this specific application. Quantel Laser was one of several that stood out. The rightmost fiber laser pictured here, which is yellow in color and operates at 577 nanometers, is designed for photo-ophthalmology use and, among other eye-related therapies, it exists as a treatment option for people beginning to suffer from retinal detachment. For an informative and candid perspective on what this show means to the industry, I had the privilege of sitting down with Peter Egerton, the Executive Vice President of Business Development for the company Aluxa. Well, I think it's a really interesting show because it's traditionally focused on lasers, but lasers and optics and filters and all these things go hand in hand, so it's a natural marriage of everyone bringing their technologies together, even though the show is focused um, ostensibly on laser technology. The laser companies are getting into so many different areas, both industrial, um, if you look at some of the things going on in um, semiconductor, like the EUV and other things, um, if you look at the life sciences where lasers and different types of microscopy technologies are really starting to take off, it, it's really a melting pot of technologies and people, and so it brings people from all over the world together in this, this show, in this format, it's great. And what type of show can be complete without a cutting edge and very cool sports car? Take the BMW i8, for example, which, depending on where you live in the world, might already be in a showroom near you. It's manufactured using new laser techniques for welding and measurement, and what really shines about it, and quite literally, is its laser headlight setup. Providing brightness levels multiple times greater than full LED arrays, the laser headlights reportedly consume 20% less power than their LED counterparts. And if you were here in Munich, feel free to comment below, tell us what you thought of the convention, and we'll see you next week.